So, we just got done loading up, and it is just so beautiful up in here. I figured I would just grab a little video of the road out of here where we happen to be uh, making that money. What do you think, Thunder was easy? A lot of people call it hauling and balling. Yeah. We call it hauling and farming. Because, uh, now this whole operation here, if we didn't have to take this stuff apart and like bust stuff up and cut stuff up, it, it, it ends up being about $250 an hour. So not a bad day. And it was, it was pouring rain, but we're actually keeping uh, of the stuff. There's a real long feeding trough in here we're keeping. Um, we're gonna keep that, the big water tank. Got a nice table. Um, and the rest of it's all probably gonna get junk. So, you know, we had a nice little load. Then we're, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna take some of this over to the barn. Then we're gonna go grab our second job, which is a $200 job. It'll take us about another 15 minutes. So, hang tight, fam. Hi, beautiful mama, what are you doing? I'm sitting at Walmart. What are you doing? Oh, mm -hmm. what are you doing sitting at Walmart? I needed to use their Wi-Fi so I could download my videos so I uh -huh. can make a video. Yeah, that's right. This is where we come to get our Wi-Fi because we don't have Wi-Fi at the farm. And interestingly enough, you just got to do what you got to do. Um, I've got spare tires, propane, everything I need to get this trip underway to head to Iowa. And I'm gonna run up to Iowa, sign a few contracts, uh, hopefully get back here by next week when we really, really kick off the jump down, uh, buy my dump trailer, and just uh, send it after that. What do you think about all that? I think we're working our tails off to have a successful jumpman.com business. Nice. Well, Bam, you know, <laughs> you always got to kind of be prepared for uh, the worst, I guess. So some, from this past week, smashed my foot and got attacked by the Yellow Jackets. Um, got all prepared to head out on this trip. Got about three hours into the trip and then the transmission on old Nelly here started slipping and I'm pulling my trailer. Uh, to have it up in Iowa to sign up these jobs so I can go back to shore and not miss out on any of my uh, junk hauling business. And my goal is to really get this dump trailer and stuff like that. Um, I got a buddy coming. Uh, the transmission on this thing just started going last night and I was just like, you've got to be kidding me, man. But um, So he's going to come hitch up to it. Um, he's going up there to work with me. Um, and then I think what I'm going to do is potentially hunt down another truck um, or, you know, investigate getting the transmission fixed. But you know what, man, we just push on. We do not, for any reason, get down. <laughs> you just got to laugh about this stuff. So... I think I'm going to throw up some prayers and I hope you guys throw up some prayers for me. <laughs> what a week. Um, but hey, no one ever said it's going to be easy, right? You know, that's, I mean, you know, you, just, you know, you never know what uh, you're going to have to face, what you're going to run into. But, um, you know, just grateful that I'm in a position where, you know, if I have to get the transmission fixed in this thing, or trade it in or whatever, find something else, uh, I can do that. Uh, but uh, I'll give you an update here in a little bit when uh, Josh comes along, you'll get to meet Josh, he's pretty hardcore. And um, you know, we'll just keep rolling. Yep, there's Josh, the savior that came, got me off the side of the road.